Today, for the first time, we heard from the family of Officer David Lee. His wife and son spoke with us from their home in Florissant. Five on your side's Paula Bassan continues our team coverage from North St. Louis with that new reaction. Paula. Well, all day, people have been coming to this memorial behind me, honoring the life of Officer David Lee. His wife actually told me earlier today that this rain is a symbol of Lee leaving this earth and becoming an angel. His family is now pushing for change. They want better safety for officers in the line of duty. David Lee started working as a police officer in North St. Louis City 18 years ago, around the same time he married Tanya. I'm going to miss him dearly because he was my yin to my yang, my best friend. She brought us into the same living room where they talk for hours, clutching a stuffed teddy bear he gave her for Valentine's Day. He was my one. He was my partner, my other half, one half of my heart. His son Khalil shares memories of a father who loved his job, basketball, and guiding him through life. He was somebody who I could talk to about anything. He's the reason why I chose to go to school for criminal justice and do what I'm doing now. A man who put family first. Tanya recalls their last night together. They prayed as they always did, and he said something she'll never forget. It was weird. He lay beside me in the bed, and he put his hand on my thigh, and he said, thank you for everything. And I said, oh, babe, thank you for everything. He said, no, seriously, thank you for everything. And I didn't know this was my husband saying bye to me. She also says her husband often talked about his concerns about the dangers of I-70, where he was killed Sunday morning by a driver charged with being under the influence of alcohol. I feel like it's unacceptable and it could have been prevented. Someone such as Modot or another um, cruiser or patrol car should have a several feet between stopping for an accident. Therefore, the young man possibly could have been slowed down early on before he got to my husband. His family is now pushing for change, hoping his death serves as a wake up call for officers in the line of duty. His funeral is scheduled October 5th. In North St. Louis, Paula Bassan, five on your side.